We welcome you to another live edition of the Sports Box, brought to you by our sponsor, Showcase Sports in Hamilton. Showcase Sports for the elite athlete. And by our friends over at Crowdplay. Download the free Crowdplay app today and check them out at www.crowdplayapp.com for details. Ladies and gentlemen, it's showtime. Hey everybody, welcome to Cage My IQ. Of course, I'm your host, D-Bake. Today we are bringing to you the first ever one championship uh, uh, pay-per-view that's going to be broadcasted to TNT in the USA. And this is, as you know, one on TNT1. I got a little video for you before I do my predictions for the three bouts on the main card. So take a look at this. The greatest of all time, Demetrius Johnson, takes on one flyweight king, Adriano Marias, plus the legendary Eddie Alvarez faces lightweight contender Yuri Lapakis, one on TNT on Wednesday nights. Yep, like I said, that is the one on TNT1, and this is the preview I'm giving you to Wednesday's fight card over in Singapore. Uh, They are doing this thing all month, every Wednesday, to get the U.S. familiar with the one championship style. And I think it's a great way to incorporate that into the U.S., We already know UFC. We know Bellator. This is the promotion that is big that the U.S. isn't familiar with. We've gotten Ben Askren, who has come over here, to uh, uh, who who was a mainstay over there and now is over here. But we got a lot of good fights coming up on this month just with one, with one on TNT, one coming this Wednesday, and then you got two, three, and four the rest of the month each Wednesday. And this this broadcast will be on TNT at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. So that's where you can catch this. But for the uh, for the first fight on this fight card, we have a, a Muay, Thai, Muay Thai bout between, which is flyweights, between Rotang Jamunkin versus Daniel Williams. Daniel Williams is coming in replacing Jacob Smith, who was who had to pull out last week. So Dana Williams has the unfortunate uh, task of stepping in on two weeks' notice to fight the the, the Carol Freak known as Rotang Jamanjin. Rotang is a beast in himself. He takes damage, and he inflicts it back twice as much. All I have to say about this is he's going to dominate Dana Williams it's going to continue his reign of terror in this Muay Thai bout. I don't think it's going to be long. I think I think he's going to toy with him for a little bit. He's going to take some damage. He's going to tell him to hit him, and he's going to just he's going to just knock out Daniel Williams. So expect a great showing for Rotang in this, and he's going to this is going to be his U.S. coming out party, and he's going to dominate. But after that, we're moving on to the second uh, bout. This is only a three-card main bout in one championship. Uh, so expect it to just see those three. If you want to catch the three prelim fights that are on the card, which I'll show you after the pre- the preview, you can check those out on Bleacher Report or Bleacher Report YouTube. But the second bout on this fight card is a lightweight bout between Yuri Lapricus versus Eddie Avarez. As you can see, Eddie Avarez is from the U- UFC and Bellator. He came over here after Ben Askren went over to, to the UFC. He came around the same time as Demetrius Johnson did, who's going to be in the main event. But this is a, a number two versus three ranked matchup where 
you have Eddie Alvarez, who in his first matchup on uh, one lost. He came in great and then just lost. It didn't look good. But then since then, he's put on a couple of solid performances for the promotion. And then you got Yuri Lapricus, who just had a shot at the title against Christian Lee. And uh, he was forced uh, to uh, lose the matchup by knockout. Uh, it was just... He came in too strong. Christian Lee finished him uh, pretty quickly. This is going to be an interesting matchup just in styles and then with the, the trash talk that's going on. Uh, you have Lapricus coming in and saying he's going to end Eddie Avarice's career. And then on the other side, you got Eddie saying, you got to have a career first to end my career. So there's been a little bit of back and forth going on with this. The way I see this going is I see Yuri Lapricus who in most of his fights, they only last a couple minutes because he comes in guns blazing and then he usually either gets knocked out or knocks out the other guy in the first round. I see him coming in, coming in strong. He's going to come in kind of Francis Ngannou style and he's going to try and end Eddie Alvarez early. But I feel like Eddie Alvarez, knowing that, is going to come in with the game plan of we're standing that and he's going to take Yuri to the ground, and then he's going to either submit him, or I feel like he's going to inflict a lot of ground and pound damage. But I think he's going to win by by decision. He's gonna he's gonna take this fight. He's gonna dominate on the ground. He's gonna use Yuri's uh, his aggression against him, where he's gonna shoot too much forward, and he's just gonna duck it, and then he's gonna take Yuri down. And then with Yuri being down, I don't think Yuri is going to be very good uh, in the clinch. And I think that's where Eddie Alvarez is going to dominate this fight. I think he's going to do it. He's going to get back to uh, dominant Eddie Alvarez style. And then he's going to go and earn that shot at Christian Lee at a later date. So put that on, put that in the bank right there. We've got Eddie Alvarez by decision. Moving on to the to the main event of this fight card, which is a, a bout between champion Adriano Moraes versus Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson. And it's a five-round fight for the flyweight championship in one championship. This is going to be a very interesting fight. Like This is close to call because for everyone that knows Mighty Mouse, this guy has has conditioning him for days. He can go all five rounds and not get tired. And then he won't lose. He, he's Mighty Mouse for a reason. He's always there. He has the speed. He has the quickness. And he has the conditioning. Moraes has has pretty, uh, pretty good style to combat that. But with what I've seen from Demetrius Johnson and what I know from him, I feel like he's going to, Come in early. He's going to just add up all those punches. He's going to get Marius to the ground. I feel like Marius is going to get his shots in. He's going to keep it close. I don't think it's going to be a landslide, but my prediction is is Demetrius Johnson will win this three rounds to two. He will edge it out in the fifth round because he just has that, that gas tank that keeps him going all five rounds. I feel like he's going to have rounds one, two, and five. I feel like he's going to take round three off. Then he's gonna he's gonna because of that I feel like he's gonna lose around four. It's gonna be tied going into the fifth, and then he's gonna take that. And he 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 just has that mentality. He's been in so many championship fights between uh, uh, the Grand Prix here, which he won in uh, one championship. He won the flyweight Grand Prix to earn this title shot, and then the all those defenses he did having the flyweight championship in UFC. He's got the pedigree to take this, and I have him win this by uh, unanimous decision, three rounds to two, and he's going to gain another championship here, but this time in one championship. And it's going to be the perfect way to end the very first U.S. card, or or I should say the U.S. broadcast card, since it's going to be uh, held in Singapore, but this will be the first one to air on TNT in the U.S. Wednesday night at 10 o'clock. And it'll be a good start because you're going to have two 
for my predictions, they're going to have two U- U.S. fighters picking up wins, and then they're going to have the the Phenom, the, the new household name, Rotang, winning that Muay Thai bout. So we got Rotang winning the Muay Thai bout. Then we got Eddie Alvarez winning in the second bout. And then we got Demetrius Johnson winning in the third in the third bout, aka the, the main event. And for you wanting to catch any of the other uh, bouts, the six bouts on here, the prelims start at 8:30 Eastern time on the Bleacher Bleacher Report or on the Bleacher Report YouTube. And then the main card, which is the three fights I just predicted, will be on TNT at 10 o'clock Eastern time. Or you can catch it delayed on the West Coast. But if you want to check out the the promotion video for this, here it is again before we get going. The greatest of all time, Demetrius Johnson, takes on one flyweight king, Adriano Marias, plus the legendary Eddie Alvarez faces lightweight contender Yuri Lapakis, one on TNT on Wednesday nights. And and right before we get ready to go, once again, we are Cage My IQ. You can find us on Twitter at our Twitter handle at Cage IQ. You can find us on Facebook on our handle at Cage My IQ SB. And you can find us on Instagram at our Instagram handle at Cage My IQ. And then every Monday that we go live for UFC recaps on Twitch, you can find us on Twitch at twitch.tv slash cage my IQ. So if you if you watch things on Twitch, go to our Twitch channel, subscribe to it or follow it, and let everybody know about it because we're trying to grow it. We're trying to be a, a household name for your MMA uh, content. We'd be pleased. We we love the fan fans and we love you guys checking out all of our content. Like I said, so that's twitch.tv slash cage my IQ. And then of course we're affiliated with the sports box. So check out all those links below. Follow the sports by sports box on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram, and check out all the content every day on there. But I am D Bake, the host of Cage My IQ, and that is our and that is a wrap on our one on TNT one preview. So check that out right now, and then check out our recap of it on Thursday morning. And then you guys have a nice Easter. Thank you for watching this episode of Cage My IQ on the Sports Box. Please remember to follow us on all of our social media outlets on Facebook at Sports Box Show, Twitter at Sports Box Show, Instagram at The Sports Box Show. Find us on YouTube and join Outside the Box, our Facebook sports discussion group. The Sports Box is brought to you by our sponsor, Showcase Sports in Hamilton. Showcase Sports for the elite athlete and also our friends over at crowdplay download the free crowdplay app today and use promo code the box at sign up for 10 free points thank you for joining us